Hello, today's tip of the week is changing the blade and touching off. Today we're operating on a Sabrejet XP, but this theory will work on all of our saw jets. It'll also operate on the saw like the Saber and the Voyager. With me is Josh Ackman from our customer service or tech support group. He's gonna walk us through how we would go about changing that blade and the proper way to touch back off so the machine runs as expected when you're done. Josh? Yeah, Joe. Uh, so, blade change, pretty simple here. Take off your cover, it will vary between different machines on how you can access your blade here, but same concept. Now, best way to remove the nut that's holding the blade on would be to take your Allen wrench here on the center of your arbor. And your bigger wrench here. If you do need to, if you're having issues with your Allen wrench in the center of the arbor there, you can touch your blade off on your table, put some slight pressure on it. Don't put a lot because we don't want to break any segments off if it is yet a good blade, but you can put some slight pressure on there and then, uh, then you can just use the bigger wrench for the brass nut to remove that. And I'll just hold my Allen wrench here. We want to look at our stickers, so tightening would be going that way. Give it a couple taps. It may be a little harder to remove if that blade has been on there a long time. Keep in mind, if you are on a Voyager, you will have set screws on the brass nut there. It will take a five millimeter Allen wrench. You'll wanna loosen them up before you loosen that brass nut. Remove your flange assembly. Water forks, and then your blade will pop off. Now make sure the, you keep your brass ring in there. And you'll be able to slide your new blade on. Most blades will have an insert here that if you break that insert out, then it'll use the brass ring. You wanna use the brass ring so if that blade spins at all, it doesn't weld their insert to the um, arbor shaft there. Put back on, slide, slide it on, clean up your flanges as best you can. It is a snug fit, so sometimes it'll bind if it's not perfectly straight. So Josh, when you're assembling this, you would not use the brass nut to push that flange on. You would want the flange back at the blade before tightening the nut, right? Yes, um, it is just a brass nut, like we mentioned, and uh, they will strip out easy if they start cross-threading or anything like that. your brass nut on, tighten that up, and we'll just take a rubber mallet and give it a couple good whacks so your brass nut is tight. And then we could put our shield back on. We'll wait for that so you can see this a little better. We want to make sure we do a blade touch off then, because if you're going to a different blade, that blade did change diameter. So we're just going to Z down here find a nice flat area on our table, whether you have the rubber strips, backer board, anything like that. We wanna just start spinning that blade until you can just feel it hit the rubber. That was a little too far, it pushed that rubber there. Right there, I can just feel that hitting. After you touch that off, we'll go over to the screen here. Now most of your Sabres, Voyagers, Sabre Jets, um, there'll be a screen that looks like this. 
Fusions will change, you'll be in your manual setup screen, but all we want to do is just capture our length then. Up here, we want to make sure we're on our blade and not our nozzle if you do have a water jet. We'll capture our length and click yes, and that'll update our blade length. If you have a Sabre or Voyager that has multiple tools and you have multiple blades set up, make sure you go to your tools and click on your, the proper blade and capture that length. Well, there you have it. Um, Josh, thank you. That should make blade changes a little easier. A couple tricks you showed. Um, if you follow these steps, you should be up and running pretty quick if you're switching out a blade either to a different material or your blades just wore out and it needs a new one. Thank you for watching our tip of the week. Have a great day.